it's good to find out that you'd like to know a little bit more about Orkney. So first of all, do you mind if we tell you a little bit about where this rather unique cluster of islands actually is? 59 degrees north, just off the north coast of Scotland, we're about level with Oslo and Stockholm. For visiting, doing business in Orkney, or if you're a resident, there are many travel options for getting to and fro. For the frequent flyers among you, we're less than an hour from Aberdeen, just over an hour from Glasgow or Edinburgh. If you choose to travel on foot, or with two, three, four wheels or more, our nearest Scottish mainland harbours are from 60 to 90 minutes sailing time. Whatever reason brings you to our islands, Orkney's welcome mat will be well and truly laid out. Basic facts and figures first of all. The island capital, Kirkwall, a royal borough since 1486, all thanks to King James III of Scotland. About 9,000 people live here, but if you include the rest of the mainland as we call it, and all the other inhabited islands that make up Orkney, we number over 21,000. People used to think that we'd be a bit behind with technology here, and even asked if we had television or phones. And as for broadband, the results are plain to see. We're very well provided for. We're very proud of our own Arcadian newspaper. The first edition came off the presses over 150 years ago. And you can always pick up your favourite national daily paper with your latte on your way to work. And how about this very social place? This is our main library. There are welcomes here for visitors through the door or online from all over the world. Tweet us here and you'll be amazed and entertained. This is one of our libraries out and about, regularly visiting even our furthest flung communities. So strong is the sense of community in Orkney that we have our very own long-established BBC radio station, one of only two that operate in Scotland. Hello, a very good morning and welcome to Round Orkney from the BBC. It's Wednesday the 9th of More October. recently, another local community radio station has taken to the airwaves. Now, what's all this I hear you say about us being a foreign country, that we all speak a different language? Weren't we Vikings or something? Certainly, many of the place names and family names owe much to the time when we were at the centre of a big Nordic empire. And the English language we speak today is rich with words that give the Arcadian dialect a considerable charm. Meet Mark Harrison. His career has taken him from Edinburgh to the United States before coming to Orkney to take up a job with the Orkney Islands Council. He observed that the islands could provide just the right kind of environment where a career can be developed and where there are opportunities to advance. This impressive multi-purpose centre for sports, arts and exhibitions is now his responsibility. I think it grows on you really quite quickly. The people, the safe environment. It's not long before you know that this is a, a really good place to, to live and bring up children. Summertime, when we enjoy the great outdoors just as much as the many visitors who come to Orkney. An almost endless season of entertainment of all kinds, for all ages, lies in wait. Orkney's simmer dim when the sun hardly sets. There's time even for a game of golf at midnight. In winter, when nights are long, we have the place more or less to ourselves. Orkney's sea and landscapes and star-filled dark skies are simply awesome. We would love more people to come and experience them. Farming and food production is Orkney's number one industry. Our reputation for breeding the best livestock and caring for our natural environment is second to none. This is where we make the famous Orkney cheddar, a huge favourite all around Britain. 
a name that is now officially protected. It can't be made anywhere else. Orkney's natural larder is the envy of many other regions. Seafood and farmed salmon. Very distinctive Highland Park malt whisky. Dozens of artisan products. Here is a real taste of Orkney and rewarding employment for many hundreds of people all round the islands. For the daily necessities of life, we're far from disadvantaged. We have two of the big national supermarkets and in Kirtwell's main street something of a unique shopping experience awaits. There's real character here. Shops that are individual in style as well as what they have on offer. You won't find anything like this on mainland Scotland and it reflects another major Orkney industry. Orkney crafts have blossomed over four decades, promoted by a nucleus of pioneering designers and craftspeople who have passed on their inspiration to others. High standards of innovative design and production have made Orkney a world leader. At the edge of the British Isles, Orkney has become a focal point for the marine renewables industry. Into these deep turbulent waters, the European Marine Energy Centre has, in just a decade, attracted companies from around the world to be part of this pioneering work. It's brought hundreds of new jobs and skills, as well as a thriving service and supply industry to the islands. Bringing up a family in Orkney isn't the challenge you might think. Here you'll find we have the highest standards of education. Our schools frequently feature in the top 100 best state schools listings. It's, it's fantastic in Orkney. I would say it's probably second to none, right from your, your preschool and nurseries and playgroups. All the, the smaller primary schools throughout the rural areas and isles all have um, nurseries and playgroups within them. The teachers are, are fantastic. You can feel as if you can walk in it virtually any time, speak to, a, speak to a teacher if you have an issue or there's any problems within the classroom or if your child needs a, a additional learning support, they've got that as well, which is excellent. And then you move up to the high schools, brand new high school in Kirkwall, which has just opened six months ago, which is excellent. And then Strumness is the other um, high school facility, which is great. We're very, very lucky to be you know, here at this present time for Libby, I think children are, are able to be children for a longer period of time than they are in the cities. There's Hopefully there's less pressures here than there is in the cities and children can enjoy their childhood in that sense. Orkney College provides opportunities for further education in the islands. It's one of 13 partner colleges that make up the University of the Highlands and Islands and it delivers a wide range of higher education, degree and postgraduate learning. In addition to the traditional base of further education, the college has specialist departments that serve the growing interests in archaeology, Nordic studies, agronomy and of course our thriving art and craft industries. Heriot Watt University also has an Orkney campus, adding to the range of higher education opportunities. Finding a roof over your head is never an easy task, but here in Orkney there's a good network of local knowledge, an excellent base of professional services, and a wide range of housing types in the towns, as well as further afield in the country or on neighbouring islands. Looking after our well-being is NHS Orkney, the smallest health board in Scotland. As part of a huge investment into providing advanced health services for the islands, a new £60 million hospital is planned to open during 2018. Meanwhile, a comprehensive range of services is provided from the Balfour Community Hospital. Telemedicine services with NHS Grampian in Aberdeen are well established and Orkney will shortly have its own CT scanning facility. GP services with nurse practitioners are provided across the majority of the islands and a new dental suite has recently opened in Kirkwall. 
Opportunities for sport and social activities abound. There are several hundred community and sporting clubs and associations for all ages and for all levels of interest and ability. You wouldn't find this facility in any small town. Games hall, cinema, arena, fitness studios, grass pitches. And then we just recently opened two swimming pools, new fitness suites, squash courts. We've also got a campsite, we've got a strength and conditioning studio for our high performance athletes that work with Sports Scotland. In all the aisles, there's healthy living centres that have lovely small gyms attached to either the schools or um, the GPs. If you took a minute to actually you document everything that goes on, you would be absolutely amazed at the amount of um, arts and culture and archaeology and sporting and leisure and you know all the events that actually we have here. It's fascinating and fantastic. Wherever you are in Orkney, whether it's the big outdoors or a community get-together, a fascinating and rewarding experience awaits you all year round. I think the other islands all are unique in their own ways, and I think all of them are certainly worth visiting when you're in Orkney. You've got the wildlife and the birds, and the island folk are so welcome when you go there if you're staying at a bed and breakfast or self-care, and you couldn't ask for nicer people. They are very welcoming. So I think a trip to every single island is something everybody should do when they come to Orkney. I think one of the underpinning things about Orkney that's so good is it's safe. It's a safe place to bring up a family and I think that's something you do very quickly take for granted when, when you live in Orkney, that it is a safe place um, and, I, and I, th I think there's, that's one of the real qualities that come along with, with an island community. Orkney, islands that offer more than you would imagine.